Hey y'all, I got Brad Parker of Parker's Poles here with me today on the Fisherman's Guide. My favorite fish, triple tail, and we're doing it two at a time. Y'all stick around because this is going to be a great episode. Okay, my name is Jim Franks. I'm senior research scientist here at the Gulf Coast Research Lab. Yeah, Ronnie and I, uh, we, we, we're working together. On, we've done a few things in the past, and now we're working together on uh, triple tail. Uh, in fact, we, uh, we have lectures here once a year where we combine uh, biology with uh, anglers' knowledge, captain's knowledge, and in that case, it's, it's Ronnie. So we have a real good relationship where we talk about the biology of triple tail and he talks about, you know, how to rig and where to go and how to fish for triple tail. So uh, the people who attend those sessions learn an awful lot, I think. So it's been very popular. I've learned a lot from him, the truth be known. We talk a little bit about the biology. As far as catching them, I think he's probably figured that one out. You want to throw just to the left side of the court, past it. You want to reel it and keep that shrimp up high until the shrimp gets to the cork. All right. As soon as the shrimp clears the cork, stop it. Yeah. All right, there you go. Hold it way out to the right, get it up next to that cork. Uh -uh, way out to the right, way out to the right. No, oh, sorry. Gotcha, okay. Now wait, wait, I think he's after it. See him going to it? Yep. Wait, go, go. There we go, baby. Yeah! Triple tail action. We got him. Just keep playing him. I got him. Let that drag up just a hair. Come right here. All right. Oh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> that's fun. Oh no! I almost had a hook removal. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's part of what makes these fish so fun. They're not the easiest out here to catch, but they are very exciting. Oh, no doubt. Let's go find us another one. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back to Pro Tips by the Fisherman's Guide, brought to you by Dad's Super Farm. Today, we've got a new product for you. I've got Kevin Wilson here, the owner of Oddball Tackle. He's going to tell us a little bit about the innovations that he's made on a popping cork. Hey, this is a South Mississippi product. It's manufactured by hand here in South Mississippi with all U.S. products, and I'm real proud of that. Some of the things we've done is we put a half ounce weight on it, which allows you to cast into the wind which uh, is limited by other products. We've added a split ring where we can remove the sinker if we need to to fish with heavier jig heads, or we can move it to the other end to swap colors. You know, being able to swap that color, it's all personal preference. I like an orange because I think I can see it more throughout the day. I know Kevin likes yellow, as you can see, <laughs> and he fishes with yellow. All you gotta do is flop that weight from one side to the other. Like he said, you can pull it off if you got a jig head on whatever you're fishing underneath it. It's a very versatile cork. He's got some great beads on here that make a lot of sound, a lot of action. They're multifaceted, so they reflect a little more light into the water. Y'all check them out. Cedar Swamp carries them, as well as many other local tackle shops. We're gonna get back to the action here. Y'all stick around. Brad, you know, a lot of people say, hey, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. And that right there is the only time that I abide by that saying. <laughs> because I expect to hook up with fish every time we come out here, but you're not always going to get on the boat. You did everything right there. Hook just pulled. 
Well, I mean, that's their whole objective is to get off the hook. They're yeah. going to try their dangest. And these fish, they're, they're hard fighters. They turn that body in the water. They pull hard, they jerk hard, they run fast. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Like I said, that's part of it. Let's go see if we can win on the next one. All right. We know they show up when it begins to, the waters begin to warm in April. Sometimes in March, if it's, if it's an early, you know, early warm water season. They'll show up in March, uh, usually the smaller ones, you know, maybe less than 10, 12 inches. Uh, and as the summer progresses, the larger fish tend to move on in. And by October, that's, you know, we have some rather large fish here in October. So it's really from March in some years to October. Uh, we think the reason they're in the northern Gulf at this time of year, and I'm talking about Mississippi waters and offshore as well, is they're spawning. That's going to be their spawning season. We've documented that. So they're spawning in the northern Gulf. Um, and then when the waters cool down, they leave Mississippi. It's still basically a mystery as to where they go because our tagging studies haven't revealed that yet. So that's something we're still very interested in knowing. I think to go offshore and stay offshore and during the wintertime, maybe get under the sargassum weed, maybe go a little deeper in the water where it's warmer. Uh, but they're not in our waters really during the wintertime. It's just too cold. You know, they're tropical, subtropical fish. So they, they seek warm water. And of course, when they're here in the summer, it's also a good feeding ground for them too. You know, we've examined many, many uh, fish to see what they're feeding on. They like shrimp, of course. Uh, pogies, um, crabs, you know, they'll eat, they'll eat a lot of things. So this, our waters here in Mississippi are one of the most fertile waters in the northern Gulf. And the triple tail know that, so they're here to spawn and to feed. Yeah, we've had a few fish that were caught uh, a few years after they were tagged, but not very many. Uh, we don't think triple tail live beyond seven years, okay. seven or eight years. It's unlike, you know, red snapper live to be 50. So these fish don't live for many, many years. But we have, we've had some that would come back the following year after they were tagged the previous summer. So we don't know where they were in the wintertime, but they came back here. So we know they're sort of coming back into the, an area they're familiar with for spawning and for feeding. Uh, yes, we've observed some pretty phenomenal growth. We think they're one of the fastest growing fish. You know, you can get a five pound fish probably in one year maybe a 10 pound fish in about three or four years. And then of course, then those little big 25 pounders. And we think those are seven or eight years old. So it's a rapid growing fish. All right, we're running these crab traps looking for triple tail. The setup that we've got, we got a number eight treble hook, black in color because we got super clear water. We got 40 pound fluorocarbon. And then we got the oddball cork here. We're throwing a pin battle two spinning reel on a seven foot Parker pole custom built rod that's fixing to put the hurt on this triple tail. Y'all stick around. Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, where the casino action is always lively and fun. Now you already know that we're passionate about our food, and I'm sure you'll be able to find your favorite table game in the newest slot games available whenever you visit us. So now we're happy to introduce our beautiful new beachside hotel with 129 spacious rooms and suites. So for great fun, food, and awesome views, come on down to the Silver Slipper. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. Hey y'all, I'm Corey Hudson, owner of Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. We're located on Davis Avenue, right here in Pass Christiane. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and be prepared to get hooked on Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Pen, let the battle begin. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With yacht caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, 
contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. I got the fish on. Oh yeah, fish on. I don't know if we'll get this one in. He's got us on the crab cork, but we're gonna get up here and see what we can do. Brad, can you get the net on the way? You net the fish and then we'll bring the cork and everything up. There he is. There we go. Hey. It wasn't the prettiest way to do it. <laughs> Cork and all. In the boat. I got that out of your way. All right, this fish is not going to quite be legal. So, Brad, if you don't mind, let's get the tagging kit out. And we're going to tag this fish and release it. All right, so what I'm going to do here, when Brad's getting the tagging kit out, I'm going to hold this fish in the water so it can breathe. We're gonna do a, put a tag in this one. The University of Southern Mississippi is leading the way in research for triple tail. There's not a whole lot known about these fish. And with every one that we tag, it helps them get a little more data on them. Whenever we get recaptures, we learn how much they've grown, how far they move, all that good stuff. This fish is dead on 16 inches. Go ahead. And Take that, and we're gonna get right behind the start of the fin there, about an inch or two down. We're gonna move a few scales out the way, then we're gonna insert this tag. Once you get it in, just twist it, pull it out. Now, whenever this fish is recaptured, if they call in the number that's on the tag, we'll be able to find out how far he moved and how much he grew. And how often do you ever get any recaptures notified to you? Brad, I have tagged, that makes 26 fish I've tagged this year and we've already got four recaptures. I have That's recaptured awesome. two of my own fish this year. That's awesome. Uh, I say I have, my clients have. Um, it's really cool, especially for people coming from out of town that may have never caught one of these, even if they don't get to take it home and uh, eat it, they still get a history with the fish almost. You know, they. Um, they get that letter a little later and everybody that's gotten a recapture has been so excited and sent me pictures of their letter and how cool it was to them to get that. Well, that and it's interesting to see how much the fish grows just from the little time in between the captures. It's absolutely amazing to me how much these fish grow each, each this time of the year. I had a fish that was out for 17 days and it grew over two inches. Damn. I thought that had to be an error by somebody but in getting these recapture reports i'm seeing that that's about you know they'll grow anywhere from an inch to almost three inches in a month and that's um, amazing huge rate of growth on these fish and that fish is so broad bodied one inch equals a lot of weight on these oh fish. no doubt and one thing we need to uh take a look at here every time you catch one of these fish you want to make sure to check two things. One, your leader, especially that one, because we were hung around the crab trap whenever he came up and ate it. And then we want to check this hook. Make sure it's not straightened out. This one looks like it's in pretty good shape. Leader's in good shape, so we're gonna go ahead and use this one again. If there was anything that looked out of, out of place to this, I'd cut it and retie it. You put a lot of hours, a lot of miles and a lot of money into chasing these things, so you don't want to end up losing fish of a lifetime or even just a good one to equipment failure. Yeah, well, the tagging program is a, it's a volunteer angler-based program where we communicate with different anglers who tell us they'd like to uh, tag triple tail because they want to learn a little bit about their movements and growth and that as well, so it's, it supports our efforts because we, we're interested in the same thing. Uh, so uh, any angler who comes to us and says, hey, I'd like to learn a little bit about triple tail, their movements and migrations, can I help? 
will say, yeah, we appreciate your, uh, we appreciate your help. And so we provide them with um, a tagging kit, which looks like this. And it contains five data cards. A, tagging, uh, a tag is attached to each card, and the tag looks like this. So this is a conventional tag. This is very conventional tagging we're talking about. There's a number on this tag that matches the number on the card. So whenever a fish is tagged, uh, the data card is filled out and ultimately provided to us, and so we know a lot about that fish. We know where it was tagged, when, how big it was, who tagged it, and Ronnie has tagged a lot of these fish. He and his customers have tagged a lot of these fish. So then uh, let's use Ronnie as an example. He will uh, he'll bring this to me. We'll record all these numbers in our data, a data file, and whenever those fish are caught, we contact him and his customer and fill them all, you know, in all about it. So. Uh, each angler gets a little instructions booklet. We like to personally show them how to tag the fish. Uh, we use this as an applicator. The tag just slides down into the applicator. You stick it under the scales near the dorsal fin. We're good to go. So that's, that's how that's done. And we've had some anglers tag several hundred triple tail. And we've had, we've had several hundred triple tail recaptured too. So we're learning about their movements and migrations based on the tagging end of it and then on the recapture end of it. So that's how you kind of learn what these fish do over a season. Hey, I'm Captain Ronnie Daniels with Fisherman's Guide. Today we're here at Cedar Swamp. This is a store that carries what catches fish. For your next outing, freshwater, saltwater, inshore or offshore, Cedar Swamp's got the gear that works. Building a new home? Build it with brick and roofing from Southern Building Supply. Come see our showroom on County Farm Road in Gulfport. We have a wide range of brick in the most popular styles and colors, and our selection of high-quality shingles can add years to the life of your new roof. Southern Building Supply offers on-site delivery of your new brick and rooftop delivery of your new shingles. We're the only locally owned roofing and brick company. Call us today, 228-539-8380. Southern Building Supply. Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, where the casino action is always lively and fun. Now, you already know that we're passionate about our food, and I'm sure you'll be able to find your favorite table game in the newest slot games available whenever you visit us. So now we're happy to introduce our beautiful new beachside hotel with 129 spacious rooms and suites. So for great fun, food, and awesome views, come on down to the Silver Slipper. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. When you trade with us, you always get a best. Super deals are why. Whether you sell or buy, we cash checks, we pay bills, we make loans like no one will, and help you keep your pockets filled. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. Hey y'all, I'm Corey Hudson, owner of Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. We're located on Davis Avenue, right here in Pass Christiane. Welcome. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and be prepared to get hooked on Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With yacht caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. Well, I tell you what, Brad, uh, the technology in these boats these days, especially for doing this with this Minn Kota iPilot, you put it in, I can hit anchor or autopilot while we're getting ready, and the whole time we're getting everything ready, it's taking us back to the fish. 
and you get up there and hit anchor mode and you're sitting right where you need to be. All right, he's back up. He's on the right side of the buoy. You'll see his tail flip out here in a second. Oh, there he is, he came out after it. Pitch it to him, pitch it to him, just this side. All right, he's after you. Wait till you feel the tap. Did he hit it? Yeah. Yep. Him. You got him? Yep. Good job. Oh, yeah. Good job. That's a good fish. Another thing this eye pilot lets you do is I can sit here and maneuver the boat while you're fighting him. I just need to figure out how to get that on my little aluminum boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do sell a 12 volt model. Good job. Hold him, little hook. Boy, this is fun, isn't it? Oh, man, this is a blast. Anytime you can see a fish, present a bait to it, and then watch it eat, that's the best to me. Oh, this one's pretty decent size, too. Yeah. Come on. I know you don't like the boat, but. That one is, uh, that one's probably gonna meet Chef Corey. They gonna become friends. He wants to get back to that crab pot. Yeah. Just keep steering him away from it. Don't go under the boat. Yeah, that's why I got us moving out of the way. Yeah, that is nice. There we go. Come on. on here, old boy. All right, just try to get his head up. Right. What you don't want to do, that right there is how you want to net one of these fish. Let the angler bring the fish into the net. If you try to force that net under that fish, at the boat, these fish will dart and, and jump one way or the other a lot of times. And most of the time, that hook is in the edge of their mouth. And if you try to force that net and he darts to the side, if that hook hooks the net, it'll rip it completely out of the fish. And then you've lost him. That fish is going to be, what do you think? I say 19 inches. It's pretty close. You want to be real careful with these fish, too, because their gill plate right here is like a serrated razor blade. And their fins up here are like ice picks. We're going to go ahead and let this one have this hook. And we're going to take this fish and see how big it is. Oh, 20 inches. Good job, brother. That's nice dinner. fish. Oh, no doubt. Be good dinner. I tell you what, that is a lot of fun. Hey, y'all. I'm Corey Hudson, owner of Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. We're located on Davis Avenue, right here in Past Christiane. Welcome. to like us on Facebook and be prepared to get hooked on Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Hey guys, Chef Corey Hudson here at Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Today we're going to be doing Red Snapper Mornay. We're going to grill a beautiful filet of fresh red snapper. It doesn't get much better than this. And we're going to top it with a crab meat Mornay sauce. That's a dish that is used in New Orleans a lot. It's a, I believe that it's a Creole dish. Um, it's a decadent mixture of jumbo lump fresh Gulf Coast crab meat and a blend of Swiss cheese and Parmesan. Now I'm going to grill this red snapper on our char grill here. It gives it a lot more flavor than regular just putting it on a flat top grill. I'm just going to season it with just salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick and basically the fish has all the flavor itself. Like I've said before in these shows, 
the trout, the red snapper, the triple tail, they have so much flavor on their own, so you don't need a lot of seasoning on these fish. Now we're gonna start here with a medium-sized saucepan. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced shallot, and just like everything else, we're gonna saute that, add a little pinch of all-purpose flour just to thicken this sauce up a little bit. And once that comes together, we're gonna add two cups of heavy cream. And once that starts to reduce, we're gonna add our Swiss cheese. And once we need to thicken up a little bit more, we're gonna add a slurry from cornstarch and water. Now this sauce is a sweet cream sauce with a hint of heat. And what gives it that heat is gonna be one drop of crab boil and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Now we're gonna plate this snapper Mornay. We're gonna take this beautiful filet of red snapper, put it on the plate, and we're gonna to top it with this jumbo lump crab meat Mornay. Hey y'all, I'm Corey Hudson, owner of Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. We're located on Davis Avenue, right here in Pass Christiane. Welcome. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and be prepared to get hooked on Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. A few years ago when we were doing work offshore with the sargassum weed, you know, it's an amazing, uh, an amazing habitat. Triple tail like that, you know. So we would catch the babies like this mm -hmm. and catch some of the larger fish and we knew very little about them. So it was a rather mysterious fish that I knew showed up here in the summertime. You know, <clears throat> 30 years ago, very few people knew about triple tail. Sure. They just bypassed them on the way to the islands thinking it was a plastic bag or something. So that's changed and that was my comment earlier about hopefully Hopefully <clears throat> the stock can be assessed better to where we don't have overfishing. Science, conservation, uh, responsible angling, that all goes together. So that's, to me, that's a very important part of all of this. All right, and one, and one other really important thing now is uh, stay tuned to the Fisherman's Guide because we're gonna be giving some updates on this research and we'll learn a lot more about it and we'll pass all that information along. Tell you what, Brad, I don't think it gets any better than today. Black calm seas. Sun finally popped out. We had a little rain this morning. Oh yeah, the sun makes it a lot nicer, a lot easier to see those triple tail. We up started under. out with what I call gray light. It was hard to see them. Turned into a great day. Tag seven. We got a few in the box for dinner, and we had a couple misses too. No doubt. Hey, tell them how they can get in touch with Parker Poles. Um, you can always reach me on my Facebook page, Parker Poles. Um, my phone number's on there, or you can reach me at Brad Parker at parkerpoles.com. Hey, y'all come back and see us next week. Stop by and check out the Facebook page and give us a like while you're there. The Fisherman's Guide brought to you by the Silver Slipper Casino. Today's episode sponsored by Dad Supermarket, Southern Building Supply, The Hook, Gulf Coast Cuisine, Oddball Tackle, Cedar Swamp Outfitters, Ocean Marine, Sports Trail Trailers, Sportsman Marine, Parker Poles, and Sport Optics.